Welcome to Ben Talks Money. Here we discuss stocks, investments, ETFs, and personal finance. Quantum computing stocks have been doing incredibly well. They've been going crazy for the past 12 months. QBTX, Brigetti, Ion Kale, they've all gone up more than 100% in the past couple of weeks. And they've been pulling back, and today they had another decent pullback. So the question is, is it time to buy the dip in these quantum stocks? So in today's video, we take a look at the daily chart to see where these stocks are heading to and a possible entry. If you are linked to the show, a possible entry for you. I have been talking about QBTS for a long time. I remember entering a trade when this was about $4. It went all the way up to for almost $45. But if you are late to the show, if you just found out about these stocks and you are wondering, is it too late? to buy these quantum stocks, this video will help you make a decision that fits your risk tolerance level. So hi, welcome to Ben Talk Money. My name is Ben. I have an MBA in finance and management. I've been trading for eight years and I'm a full-time options trader. We will take a look at the three most popular quantum computing stocks, RGTI, IonKill, and QBTX. We take a look at their daily chart to see if there is an entry point, if they are coming to a support level, or something like that and then from there we, it can help you decide what to do based on the technical analysis that we do okay so let's jump in and take a look at the daily charts so first of all let's take a look at rgti we get it if you look at the daily chart here on your screen you can see that this stock since last november it was about a dollar this stock was trading at a dollar if you can see right here and it moved all the way up to $58, almost 60 bucks. And the past four days, you see here, tried a double top breakout. It couldn't, this red candle, some form of a hammer candle, it still couldn't break it up. But you see what is going on here. It's going through a redrawal. It's going through a pullback. People are taking profit because look, if you bought this stock at a dollar and it's right now and it hit $58, what the heck are you still sitting in there? On a company that doesn't make a dime right now on a company that has no guarantee of success in the future. You've made 58X. What are you still sitting in there for? So that is what you are seeing here. You are seeing this, you are seeing this redrawals, you are seeing this selling because that's what you're supposed to do if you got in early. But it's coming into this support level right here. If you can see here, the $40 zone is some form of a support, but is it going to hold? Does it have bias at this point? So what you do is that you have to wait and see if it's going to hold the $40 support. If it holds the $40 support level, probably will be a good entry point for a startup position. The word is startup. It should be a startup position because this stock can pull back. The 50-day SMA is at 26.80. So this stock can pull back. If the selling continues, it can really pull back. So you just want to be a little bit cautious. Ideally, you want to see some form of consolidation around the support level making higher highs and higher lows, maybe in a week or so, and then you see high volumes coming in, you know, then you'll be able to, to get it from there. But ideally, you want this to test the 50-day SMA. There is some form of support here also around 28.60. It's very close to the 50-day, so you might as well just wait to the 50-day. But this stock is still at $40. Is it going to come to the 50-day? You never know. It's possible, but it's really, really far away. So what you can do if you are looking at this for a long term, we can see if you hold $40, if you hold 40, you can start a startup position or just wait, let it see some lower lows and lower highs around the $40 zone, consolidate it a little bit, and then you can start with a startup position. But you have to be mindful that there's a possibility that this can draw all the way back to the 50 day SMA, which is around $27. Okay, so that is it for again. The next one that we take a look at is QBTS. This was my pick during this crazy move. This was my pick. I got in on QBTS around $4. I started talking about it on social media. Uh, I got in around $4 and we went all the way up to $45 and we've emptied it around $40, $44. But this also, just like Rigetti, this one has a four day selling candles. And you can see just like Rigetti, this one is also coming into some form of, of a support around 34, $34 area. It's trying to hold that support. 
So you have to also be mindful of it. Again, the same play, it looks like they have the same chat, these stocks move together, they form the same patterns. So ideally, you might want to see some form of consolidation around the support, making lower lows and lower highs, and then the next high volume green day on the daily chart, you can start a startup position. If you are brave enough, you can do with this stock has a lot of risk. There's a lot of risk in these stocks. They've gone up so much that if they decide to come down, it can be catastrophic. So the risk in these stocks are very, very high. But if you miss your risk appetite, you can get in around the four, uh, $34 support area. If you, the 50-day SMA is around $23.70, around $24. So you can also look at it from there, $24. I don't know if he's going to come all the way there, but that is this for QBTS. The last one that we take a look at is IonQ. See, this, just like QBTS and Regetti, they all have the same patterns. The thing with IonQ is that it is coming into a support around $60. You can see here the support is around $60, but the 50-day SMA is around 56 So the difference between 60 and 56 that's it's not that much especially with this kind of volatile stock. So what do you want to do with this one is either you can start a position here, knowing that you will add more when it gets down to the 50 day SMA, which is very close, about $4 away. So that would be the play for it. But again, these stocks, they've gone up so much. The risk is so elevated. If it decides to come down, this thing can come all the way down to $10. And even at $10, I bought QBTS at $4. I know people got in at $1. So even if it comes all the way down to $10, those people who got in early, they are still good. But you that you are getting in at this point, can you handle the dip if this keeps selling? Can you handle it? That's the question you have to ask yourself because there's a high probability that this stock will keep dipping. So can you handle the dip if you bought at this support area? Can you handle the dip? If the answer is yes, if the answer is I'll buy more anytime it dips, then that's for you. If you think you can handle the dip, you have to give it time. Let the dust settle. Let all the craze, the hype dies up a little bit. Then you can pick up the pieces from the floor instead of trying to catch a falling knife. Okay. So that's it for this quantum computing stocks. They've been going crazy. Talk of town. They've been going up and up and up and now they are dropping. So be mindful of it. Be mindful of the risk measure. The rewards if the rewards are worth it and you have to know that none of these companies are making money i don't even think they have revenue more than 10 million per quarter so you have to bear that in mind and there is no guarantee that any of these companies will be successful and you also have to know that the big tech companies are also working on quantum computing technology microsoft came up with a new quantum computing chip the same with google so at the end of the day maybe some of these small cap stocks the QBTS, IonQ, and Regetti, maybe they will get bought up. They will form some form of collaboration with some of these big tech stocks, or they can succeed on their own. But you know that your Microsofts and your Googles, they have the deep pocket to push through this technology. So there is no guarantee that any of these small cap stocks will be successful. You have to bear that in mind. So if this video is helpful to you, please subscribe to the channel humbly, share the video, tell a friend to tell a friend. And until next time, let's keep talking more.